guys Ben Thunderbird with Hey Man Fishing and um, I'm gonna update you this is a uh, update number three and I believe this will probably be my final update on my lithium uh, battery setup <laughs> original video I bought a lie time I used it for a while and uh, I can't say that it was the issues with the lie time but um, I had a cut occasionally times when my uh, live scope would fade out and fade back in uh, ended up sending that battery back but uh, as in the case with anything that you you know you buy you you begin to learn after doing some research how to use it um, I ended up buying a Power Queen 100 Mini. It's the same form factor as the Light Time, and it's been suiting me pretty well. Let me show you my setup. So I got my uh, Power Queen Mini in a front compartment up here on the bow, and that uh, battery runs a, uh, a bow unit right here on the front. Um, it's currently showing like 13 uh, uh, volts and then um, I ain't had this battery charged in a couple trips so and I'm gonna tell you why in just a moment but I got the other uh, unit right here and it's showing 13.2 volts so and it's also running uh, the live scope like I said and uh, that Garmin hub Let's okay guys you saw the setup and how i'm using this uh, lithium one thing how i have learned in this process of lithium batteries is uh when you get back from a trip unlike your uh other batteries on your boat these lithiums uh if you want that product to last longer uh don't put it on that charger Wait till you get down to about 50% or 60% capacity on that uh, battery before you recharge it fully. That battery's gonna last a whole lot longer if you do that. So I'm learning, I'm going out. I fish quite a bit and I, like I say, I got those two 12 inch grass, the live scope and the hub. I got all that stuff running constantly. Uh, and I'm really getting a lot of uh, fishing time uh, on them graphs and they they stand up uh for me um so if i had anything to i mean if i had a, a tip to give you today that would be that don't put it on that charger when you get back uh unless it's down about 50 percent um so and if you look at this graph up here this is from um the uh, company um uh, power queen uh, if you look at this graph here, uh, it, it'll show you uh, the state of charge after it's off your charger for like three hours. You want to check your, your charge on it. Uh, now, I got a little app that I have uh, that I use on my phone to keep checking the charge to let me know what it is. Um, um, this suited me very well. Um, so I'm thinking... Uh, in the future, I'm going to get me another uh, lithium, and it's probably going to be for a starter battery. Uh, all your lithiums are not created equal. There's some that's better suited for a starter battery. Actually, I think some companies, that, when they, when they push out these batteries, they'll tell you, uh, you want this is one that you can use on, as a starting battery. So, God bless you. Until the next time. We'll see you.